Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Bengal Vision. Today's webcast features a men's basketball game as the UMFK Bengals take on the Virginia University Lynchburg Dragons. Let's meet the starters first for Lynchburg Dragons. At guard number zero, Lay McFall. At forward number one, Dennis Gravely. At forward number five, Irving Cato. At forward number 15, Jan Zornian. And at guard number 32, Adrian Saunders. Now for the starters for the home team, the University of Maine at Fort Kent Bengals. At guard number three, James Givens. At forward number five, Jeremy Bishop. At forward number 10, Mauro Vicic. At guard number 21, Fred Sanchez. And at center number 40, Nikola Vikosavic. Is it live or is it Memorex? Alongside my ever popular colleague Scott Brickman, I'm Cody Tracy. As we remind you that the University of Maine at Fort Kent welcomes all players, officials, and spectators to today's contest. The UMFK is committed to the true spirit of competition by being a champion of character through the five core character values that UMFK embraces which are respect, integrity, responsibility, servant leadership, and of course, sportsmanship as we get ready for the tip-off here. Looks like it's uh, going to be a very uh, physical game, Brickman, with uh, UMFK and what appears to be a very athletic University of Virginia Lynchburg Dragons. As the and opening tip-off falls right. to UMFK. Sorry for interrupting, Mr. Tracy. I'm glad, I'm glad that you're back here with me, Cody. Seriously, doing a game a while back by myself really stank. I thought you did a great job. Uh, no. Thank you, but anyway. First shot by Freddie Sanchez mi missed for the Bengals. All right, we got to learn these Vulcan players. They have VUL on their chest. I think their name should be the Vulcans. <laughs> Shot there on the way from Lynchburg, and that falls. First bucket of the game, that's by Jan Zorjan. 2 nothing Lynchburg. 19 minutes remaining here in the opening half. James Givens, he runs the offense for UMFK. He finds Fred Sanchez on the wing, over to Nicola. Now back to Jeremy Bishop. Ooh. Shot rattles around, no good. Rebounded by Irving Cato for the Dragons.
Lynchburg working the ball around the floor. That's Lay McFall running the offense for the Dragons. Entry pass inside, shot no good. And we're gonna have a foul here called on, uh, I believe, Adrian Lynchburg. Adrian Saunders? That's right, Adrian Saunders with his first foul of the game. Givens again for UMFK, works the ball up the floor. Over to Mauro Vicic. Now back to Givens, Givens drives. Looks inside for Nikola, that's kicked out of bounds. Possession stays with UMFK. Sanchez to inbounds, he finds James Givens. Givens over to Fred Sanchez, he drives baseline, 15 foot jumper, no good. And rebounded by Adrian Saunders. McFall now for Lynchburg. He drives, shot up, no good. Rebounded by Mauro Vicic. Mauro drives and he's fouled. He'll head to the line for two shots. Zorgen called with a foul there for Lynchburg. Morrow has on orange socks. You know, when, when they say color commentary, <laughs> they don't mean color as in sock color. Well, I usually comment on the shoes too, but you know, the socks really stand out. I am impressed. You, you've made it almost three minutes without making a shoe comment. <laughs> hey, Morrow sank both his free throws. That's my boy. A scholar and an athlete. Saunders now for Lynchburg. He drives. Left-handed shot up off the glass. That's good. That was nice. Oh, nice pass, James. Pass inside to Nikola Vukasovic, and he goes up and it's that's way to, good for two. It's a way to pass with some authority. Nodded at four here in early in the opening half. 17 minutes remaining. Lay McFall now. Inside pass to Irving Cato. Cato goes up off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Adrian Saunders. Saunders with a shot, that's no good, but he's fouled. Oh. And he'll head to the line for two shots. Poor Qua. Jeremy Bishop called for his first foul of the game. First team foul for UMFK. Yeah. Saunders for a shot, rattles around, no good. Second shot for Saunders falls. All right, and let's go, boys. He gives his team a one-point advantage. UMFK inbounds to James Givens. He crosses the time stripe, finds Fred Sanchez. Sanchez back to Givens. Givens drives now, kicks out to Sanchez again. Sanchez drives, kicks out to James Givens for three. Oh, yeah! First bucket of the game for James Givens. That's a three-pointer to give his team a two-point advantage. Virginia University now on the offensive. Shot on the way, no good. Rebound put back up by Dennis Gravely, and that's good for two. Givens looks to his right to Fred Sanchez. Sanchez pass to Jeremy Bishop, and he turns around for the 15-foot jumper. And Way to good. go, Jeremy. Nice shot. Let's get us a nice big lead, boys. 9-7, UMFK, 16-10 to play. Oh, Inside pass, we we're going to nice have an charge. offensive foul called here on Jan Zorhan. Yep. And that's going to be his first foul of the game. Second. Second foul of yep. the game. Way to, way to stay on top of that, uh, Scott. Was, yeah, No, that was P.O. who stood on top of that. I'm, Dude, on top and me, <laughs> those are incongruous, okay? Ah. 
Oh, I gotta say, your your commentating skills have vastly improved over the last couple of years. <laughs> well, <laughs> there's no place to go but up. <laughs> I would disagree. <laughs> uh, just wait until Wednesday when we have the umpy game, pal. That's all I'll say. Oh, James. Ooh. Givens for three back rim. No Way to good. go, Nicola. Way to go. Fred Sanchez comes up with the ball. Entry pass to, to Nicola. Some offensive. Uh, all right, wait. Freddie Sanchez now with the ball. He goes to James Givens. Givens near the time stripe. Got a lot of time, boys. Ah, looks inside for Nikolai, and that's taken away. Nice pass. And a bad pass there from Lynchburg. Out of bounds. Possession is going to go back to UMFK. Fifteen twenty-five remaining here in the opening half. Nine-seven UMFK. James Givens works the ball up the floor. He finds Fred Sanchez. Sanchez is going to spot up for three. Uh, Front rim, no good. Rebounded by Lay McFall, and McFall's going to drive all the way coast down. To coast. Shot, no good. And possession is going to go to UMFK. Correct me if I'm wrong, but right now, not as physical as we may have thought. Um, much much slower tempo to the game than, than anticipated, yes. Sanchez to Bishop, mm. Bishop to Nicola. That pass oh, is way to go, the Morrow! Line by Morrow, and he puts it up for two. And now a timeout taken here by Virginia University Lynchburg. It's going to be a 30-second timeout. Uh, it's always great for me to look out there and see some of the students that I've had in class. I know that you don't care about that, Cody, but. <laughs> All right. Am I, am, I, am I allowed to say you're right? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> hey, in, in the unlikely event we have anyone out there in Bengal land listening to us, a couple of shout, shout outs here. We need a shout out to uh, Jeff Kinney. Hope you're listening, Jeff. And Trey Henry. If Trey is listening. All right, McF McFall is bringing it out for the uh, Vulcans here. Lay McFall, the Lynchburg point guard. Looks like they're content to slow it down for right now. Adrian Saunders. He drives, kicks McFall. back out to McFall. McFall for three, Ooh, and that's good. That was good. a nice shot. Eleven ten, fourteen minutes remaining. Givens for the Bengals. He finds Fred Sanchez. Nice pass there from Bishop to Givens. Givens, great pass here from Morrow. Morrow Vicic, and he goes up for two. Morrow's got about six now, doesn't he? Yep. Boy. <laughs> it's a good thing that I learned how to count past five, huh? <laughs> nice deal, huh? James Givens crosses the time stripe. He dribbles to his left. Over to Fred Sanchez. Sanchez to Jeremy Bishop. And back out to Givens. Nice pass inside there from Givens to Nikolan. He goes up for two. That's no good, but he's fouled, and he'll go to the line for two free throws. First shot there from Nikolai is good. He looks to give his team a five point advantage. Second shot on and the he way. Does. Is way good. to go, Nico. 15 10, 13 25 remaining. Another gentleman and a scholar like Morrow. It's Nico. Lay McFall works the ball at the floor. Irving Cato now for Lynchburg. Back to McFall. Dennis Gravely now over to Adrian Saunders. 
Saunders is going to spot up for three, and that's no good. Rebounded there by Lynchburg. And we're going to have a jump ball call here, and possession is going to stay with Lynchburg. There's got to be something wrong here because they got uh, Kuan listed as being shorter than Nico. They look uh, about the same. Mm, all right. Maybe it's my bifocals, Cody. It's a good thing I have you here, Scott, to tell me who's taller than whom. Well, I was, no, I mean, they're, <laughs> they're matching up. Ooh, nice shot. Juan for three, and that's good. Nodded at 15, 12.30 remaining. James Givens again for UMFK. He runs the offense. Jeremy Bishop over to Fred Sanchez. That pass is batted that's out of bounds. <laughs> Possession is going to stay with the Bengals. Fred Sanchez inbounds to James Givens. Over to Fred Sanchez, now back to Morrow. Bengals looking to generate some offense here with a tied ball game. James yep. Givens, five seconds on the shot clock. Givens now spots up for three, and that is back rim no good. Long rebound out to Lay McFall, and he hurries the ball up the floor. Oh, no. And he looks inside for Irving Cato, and he goes off the glass Wide open. Two. It was wide open. And we're going to have a timeout taken here by UMFK. Full timeout taken. All right, all right. Hey, we got a break coming up in a couple of weeks, huh? We got two weeks of classes left and you guys are on break. You had to remind me. Why did you remind me that I still have two weeks of classes before I can go home again? Because it was, well, this is what I remember is that my kids are on break, um, so. Is that, uh, how long is our break? Just a week. Wow, that's a bummer. All right, Bengals. Bengals down 17-15 here with uh, 11.44 left to go in the half. UMFK is going to have possession. James Givens gets the ball in the backcourt. And he crosses the time stripe. Dribbles over to his right. He finds Morrow. Morrow spots up for three and that's oh. no good. Rebounded by Lay McFall. McFall works the ball up the floor. Closely guarded by Fred Sanchez, over to Dennis Gravely, and now to J.R. Kwan. Inside to Irving Cato, Cato with a shot, no good. Rebounded by Lynchburg, Dennis Gravely now spots up for three, and that's good. Good shot there from Gravely, gives his team a five point lead now, Lynchburg's largest lead of the game. 2015, 11 minutes to play, first half. Bishop inside to Nicola. He finds Morrow at the top of the key, but there's going to be a foul on Cato. Called on Irving Cato. That's Irving Cato's second foul of the game and Lynchburg's fifth of the game. Jorge Matizans has checked in for the Bengals now, and he inbounds. James Givens back over to Jorge. Jorge over to Morrow, and back to Jorge. He ah. looks inside for Nicola, and that's batted away. Cato. Now Irving Cato finds Quan, and Quan goes up off the glass for two. He could have been ugly there, but. Oh. 
Givens now over to Morrow. Morrow dribbles his right, nice pass inside to Nicola. He goes up for two, no good. And a rebound comes down to J.R. Kwan. And now McFall inside to Kwan, and that's good for two. It, it looks almost like uh, Lay McFall, every time he gets a rebound, he's just too fast for the Bengal mm -hmm. defense. And it always leads to an open basket. James Givens looks inside for Nicola. He backs the defender down, and we're going to have a foul called here on J.R. Kwan. That's actually on Dennis Gravely, his first. Jorge inbounds. That pass is batted away, picked back up by Nicola. Inside pass there, and lost out of bounds. Possession stays with UMFK. Jorge inbounding, long inbound pass to James Givens. Givens drives, finds Bishop inside. Bishop loses the handle, and possession's going to go to Lynchburg. UMFK trailing 24-15. 9.20 remaining here in the opening half. Lay McFall over to J.R. Kwan. Dennis Gravely, he's going to spot up for three, and that's good. Bengals down by 12 now, 27-15 with 9.13 left to go in the half. And another three-pointer from Dennis Gravely. That's his third or fourth of the game. James Givens, nice pass there to Nico. And Jeremy Bishop on the rebound tries throwing it down and ball's going to go out of bounds to Lynchburg. Lay McFall guarded closely by James Givens. Inside pass to Irving Cato. Cato back out to J.R. Kwan. He's going to spot Wide up for three. Open. Back rim no good. Rebound is batted around and out of bounds to UMFK. Givens over to Jorge. Jorge drives to his right. Tries kicking back out to James Givens. Pass out of bounds. And possession goes back to Virginia University. Twenty-seven fifteen advantage to Virginia University. Irving Cato, he drives baseline. And a alley oop pass to J.R. Kwan. And possession's going to go to UMFK. Givens in the backcourt. James Givens, he dribbles the ball around, finds Morrow. And we're going to have a foul called here and on... Nicola. Nicola, and that is going to be his first. Only the UMFK second team foul, though. That's good. Lay McFall dribbles over to his left. He drives right by James Givens and finds J.R. Kwan. Nice his rebound. shot no good. Rebounded by Jeremy Bishop. Way to go, Jeremy. Givens now, he drives, loses the handle, gets it back, and finds Jeremy Bishop. Now out to Jorge. Jorge back over to Givens. Givens looks inside for Jeremy Bishop. Bishop with a jump shot. Hey, way to go, Jeremy. Thanks for putting us back on the board. Way to go, guy. 
Bengals down by 10 now, 27-17. McFall inside to Irving Cato. Cato with a nice shot up off the glass and good. Jorge now for UMFK. He loses the handle and that's picked up by Leigh McFall. Hey, way to go, James. And pass intercepted at the other end by James Givens. A lot of turnovers right. here early for both oh. teams. Fred Sanchez checks back in for UMFK. Jorge inbounds to Nicola. Now James Givens. Back over to Jorge. And Givens is going to spot up for three. Oh! Givens. Thank you, James. J.R. Kwan with an inside pass. Kick back out to Dennis Gravely. Gravely for three. Front rim, no good. Ah. And Givens can't handle the rebound. And that's out of bounds to Lynchburg. Sixteen thirteen left to go. Twenty nine Lynchburg, twenty Bengals. And we're gonna have a foul called now on UMFK's James Givens. And that is his first team's third foul. Gravely inbounds. Shot on the way here from Lynchburg. Up off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Jorge. And Jorge finds Givens in the backcourt. Five fifty remaining in the opening half. Nine point lead now for Virginia University Lynchburg. Jeremy Bishop outside to James Givens. Oh! It's net his third three. Givens cuts into that deficit a little bit more now. 29-23. Nice going, and Jeremy. And now Dennis Gravely with a shot. Reverse layup, no good. Way Rebounded to go, Nico. Way to hustle. All right. Givens over to Fred Sanchez as UMFK looks in to cut into that lead a little bit more. Sanchez drives. Hey. He goes up off the glass. Oh. Left-handed, no good. Rebounded by Dennis Gravely. Gravely had to lay McFall, and he spots up for three. No good. Rebound there, shot no good. Rebounded by James Givens. A little bit more uh, pep in UMFK. Oh, nice stat. pass! Yes, way to go! As nice Givens pass, James. Nico Lafer. Way to go, Nico! All right, UMFK is showing some life here. Only down by four now. Shot on the way there from Janaeus. Yes, Janaeus. Sanchez for the Bengals, he drives. He goes up off the glass, that's blocked. Janaeus again with a shot, three pointer no good. And we're going to have an offensive foul called here on, it looks like, Chris Calvin. Yep. His first foul of the game. Thirty-one twenty-five, three fifty remaining. James Givens. Runs the offense as usual for UMFK. He finds Jeremy Bishop. Bishop with a hook shot. Hey, that Good. was nice, Jeremy. Way to go, bud. Good work down in the post there from Jeremy Bishop, and yes. he gets two points. Chris Calvin shot on the way, and that's wow. good. Two 
What little ground UMFK gains, they seem to give it right back because it's 33-27 now. Need a stop at some point, guys. Fred Sanchez finds Nicola down low, and he goes nice. off the glass Nice. Way to go, Freddie. Way to go, Nico. All right, we need a stop, guys. And a reach-in foul is going to be called here on Jorge as he looks to get a steal. Maro Vicic checks back into the game for UMFK. Janais inbounds to Dennis Gravely. Gravely inside to Chris Calvin. Calvin with a shot. And that hits the side of the backboard, but we're going to have a foul call. I think called. they're calling it on Nico. And I mean, uh, Morrow. It is called on Morrow. That's his first foul. Team's fifth. It was a shooting foul. Chris Calvin will be at the line for two free throws. And Calvin hits both his free throws to extend his team's lead to a 35-29 advantage. Fred Sanchez now, he runs the ball up the floor. Over to Nico now, back to James Givens. Givens drives, shot, no good, but he's fouled and he'll go to the line now. Draw it. Yes, way to go, James. Yes, James Givens goes two for two from the line. Four point lead now for Virginia University. Janaeus works the ball up the floor. He finds Chris Calvin. Oh, and that nice. ball's taken away from Fred Sanchez, and we're going to have a foul here. And a push. Called on Bromel. And that's that Bromel's foul first foul. So Fred Sanchez now has the opportunity to pull his team to within two. His first Way to go, Fred. Good. Sanchez at the line. His second shot. Front rim rattles around and in. That's the way us New Yorkers get it done. 35-33. And here comes Chris Calvin on the other end. He goes up off the glass for two. Speaking of New Yorkers, <laughs> watch out, James. James Givens over to Jeremy Bishop. Now back out to Givens. Givens spots up for three, and that's oh -ho -ho! Big three-pointer there from Givens. And now it's a one-point lead for Lynchburg, 37-36. Chris Calvin with a shot, no good. And rebounded by Virginia University Lynchburg, and a shot up and good, and the foul. And that was Adrian Saunders. He's going to go to the line to try to complete a three-point play. Maro Vichich with the foul there. That's his second. Team sixth. Irving Cato checks back in for the Dragons. Saunders' shot is good. Three-point play there from Adrian Saunders, and he extends his team's lead again to four, 40-36. Final two minutes of the opening half. Cheech inbounds to Jorge. Jorge is going to work the ball up the floor now. He's being closely guarded by Janaeus. 
Jorge over to James Givens. Givens back to Jorge. Jorge now over to Morrow. Jorge in the corner for three. And oh yes, good. Jorge, way to go. Jorge on the board with his first three of the game. Back to a one point deficit. 40-39, 120 remaining. UMFK hoping to take a, a lead into halftime. Irving Cato now at the top of the key. He spots up, foul line jumper, no good. Rebounded by Nico. And we're gonna have a foul called here on Chris Calvin. Third foul of the game for Calvin. All right, let's go Nico. Team's 10th. And Nico's gonna be at the line. Help us out here. Way to go, Nico. First shot good for Nico. Tied ball game at 40. UMFK comes back from being uh, down by as many as 12 earlier in the first half. Second shot oh, is yes. good, and he gives the Bengals a one-point lead now, 41-40. Let's get a stop, guys. Let's get a stop. Janaeus, he drives, shot on the way, no good, and we're going to have a traveling Traveled. violation called on Janaeus. Turnover and possession to UMFK. Final minute, 59 seconds remaining. UMFK, if they get a bucket quick here, they can go two for one to end the first half. Oh, yes, Stop Jeremy! There by Jeremy Way Gittin. to come up strong. Uh, Jeremy Bishop, excuse me. 43-40, UMFK on top. And a five-second violation called here on All right. Lynchburg. Great defense there from James Givens. 31 seconds remaining. Shot clock is going to be turned off for the final possession. And we're going to have a timeout taken here by UMFK. 30 second timeout, Dragons. Timeout was actually taken by Dragons head coach, Buddy Mason. It's going to be a 30 second timeout. UMFK basketball, 31.3 seconds remaining. Shot clock off, 43-40, UMFK on top as they look to extend their lead before the end of the half. Jorge, he dribbles his left, 15 seconds now. Givens near the time stripe. Givens with a dribble drive, he goes up off the glass. Oh, yes! Good. And he's gonna get one more. James Givens with the and one, he gives his team a 45-40 lead with 9.9 .9 seconds remaining in the half, and he's gonna go to the line to try to complete that three-point play. Way to come back, UMFK Bengals. Givens' free throw is good, 46 Let's hold this lead now in the second half. Five seconds remaining now, Irving Cato. Cato's gonna drive. Kick out to Adrian Saunders. Saunders three is no good. And that is going to end right. the first half. Storyline headed into the half. 46-40. UMFK on top. We'll be back shortly with second half action.
is it live or Memorex? We are live. Nice hat. Huh? She's got a nice hat. Oh. <laughs> Speaking I'm of professional sports teams, Brickman, who you got for the Super Bowl tomorrow again? Seattle. Ah, oh, that's disappointing. Ru no, it's not. Russell, that's Russell Sherman. That's disappointing. Stanford University, pal. Peyton Manning, University of Tennessee. It, be careful or I'm going to start that smackdown that I was telling you about. Six, 16 years pro, five MVPs. Just, I'm just saying. Yeah, okay. Stanford we'll, University, that's all right. That's okay. You're we'll, going to work for him someday. We'll, we'll, we'll leave it alone. All right. Back Let's with go second moral. half action. UMFK on top, 46-40. James Givens led all scores in the first half with 17 points. Dennis Gravely led the way for Virginia University Lynchburg with 10. Jeremy Bishop now. He takes a foul. On oh, him, yes. And that's good. Way to go, start. Jeremy. Way to go. Hot start for UMFK, 48-40. Early second half, UMFK looking to uh, collect another win here Come on, today. guys. Let's have a strong... Strong first 10 minutes here, please, please. Irving Cato up off the glass for two. Forty-eight, forty-two. Fred Sanchez, he works the ball up the floor. Looks inside for Nico. Nico backs his defender down. Good move oh, there for Nico. Oh. Back rim Shoot. no good and rebounded Shoot. by Lynchburg. Lay McFall, he drives. Kicks out to Dennis Gravely. Inside to Irving Cato. Cato up off the glass for two. Come on, guys. Let's go. And Cato's got the first four points for VUL Lynchburg. Morrow inside to Nico. Nico kicks back out to Fred Sanchez. Sanchez drives. He goes up off the glass. No good. Rebounded by VUL. Lay McFall now. He drives. Inside for Irving Cato. And Cato with another two Cato's points. Got like all, Cato's got uh, all six points so far, no? Yes, that's correct. It's uh, Sanchez this half, not Givens, running the offense for UMFK as he looks over and finds James Givens. Givens dribbles, dribbles to his left, finds Fred Sanchez. And we're going to have a foul called here on Irving Cato. And that's a third foul for Irving Cato. Fred Sanchez, he inbounds. That pass is taken away by Dennis Gravely. Now Lay McFall. Oh. Alley oop pass there, no good, but Irving Cato Cato of all people rebound, huh? gets the rebound now. and puts it up off the glass. Come on, Bengals, it's tied up. Nodded at 48. Fred Sanchez over tomorrow. He's going to spot up for three back rim, no good. Rebounded by Irving Cato. Over to Dennis Gravely. Gravely goes up off the glass. Reverse layup is good for two. Well, if Cato's not scoring, then uh, he's assisting in scoring. Great pass there from Cato. Gives uh, Lynchburg a 50-48 lead. UMFK is going to have the ball. Fred Sanchez looks to inbound. He's going to find James Givens out near the time stripe. A lazy pass here from Givens. That's batted out of bounds by Dennis Gravely. Ball's going to stay with the Bengals. Sanchez over to Givens. Givens now to Morrow. Back to Sanchez. Good looking pass there from Jeremy Bishop. Isn't handled by Nico. And that's out of bounds to Lynchburg. Lay McFall over to Dennis Gravely at the top of the key. Gravely now being guarded by Jeremy Bishop. Lay McFall inside to Irving Cato. Cato spots up for two, and that's good. 
10 points this half already for Irving Cato. Just over three minutes in, 16.35 remaining in regulation. James Givens over to Fred Sanchez. Sanchez up to Morrow. Back to James Givens. And now Fred Sanchez is going to spot up for three in the Thank corner. Thank you, Freddie. Thank you. Way to go. A three there from Fred Sanchez makes it 52-51. Lynchburg on top. Just over 16 minutes to go in the game. Lay McFall over to Dennis Gravely. Gravely out now to Irving Cato at the top of the key. Now Adrian Saunders and back to McFall. And we're going to have a foul oh. called here on James Givens. First team foul, that's Givens second. McFall over to Adrian Saunders, back to McFall. Guarded by Givens. Three on the way from Adrian Saunders. Side rim no good. Rebounded by Nico. Go, Nico. Givens. Oh, yes. Long pass ahead to Morrow. He goes up off yes. the pass for two. Nice pass. Way to go, Morrow. Way to hustle. Let's go. Keep up that intensity now. Come on, guys. One point advantage for UMFK. Lay McFall, he drives, goes off the glass and good for two. Both teams taking turns switching leads. Fred Sanchez now in the corner. Over to Jeremy Bishop, Bishop off the glass. Oh. No good, but he'll head to the line for two free throws. Nice try, Jeremy. Lay McFall charged with the foul. That's his first of the game and team second. As Bishop gets ready to take his first of two free throws. What are their fouls looking like? No? Way to go, Jeremy. Okay. From, uh, from uh, the Vulcans. Uh, nobody's really in foul trouble. All right. I believe Cato's got three. So Cato's got three now, yeah. Um, Gravely's got two. 55 54, UMFK. Pass inside, shots good by Cato, but they're going to wave that off. And we're going to have a loose ball foul here on Morrow. Looks like Morrow Vicic. And he's going to take a spot on the bench as Jorge checks back in for the Bengals. Inbound pass finds Adrian Saunders. Inside pass batted away way and taken by James Givens. Givens is going to drive the lane. He goes uh -oh. up off the glass. No good. But he's fouled and he'll head to the line for a pair of free throws. Fourth foul there on Irving Cato. Who's got four now? Cato. All right. Yeah. Ten, right. He had the 10 0 run. Having four fouls, Cato will most likely take a spot on the bench. James Givens makes his second free throw. Cato checks out, and Lay McFall comes back in for Lynchburg. Fifty-seven, fifty-four. UMFK on top. Fourteen thirty remaining in regulation. Adrian Saunders over to Dennis Gravely. <laughs> Gravely Way inside. To go. Oh. Pass knocked away by Nico, but uh, he can't hold on to it. That's all right. Way to go. Way to hustle, guys. Ball out of bounds. Possession to Lynchburg. There goes beautiful Bradley Hollibird, the Bengals trainer. But is it it was an act of beauty the way he mopped up the floor. Yeah, it was yes, it was quite nice. Give him the MVP award right now. Oh. 
Dennis Gravely, three, no good. Nico with the rebound, James Givens. He crosses the time stripe. Guarded now by Adrian Saunders. Nice oh! pass there from yes! nice James, pass, James Givens. Way to go! And Nico goes off the glass for two. Way to fire it, way to go. Buddy Mason, head coach for the Dragons, not happy with that bucket, and he's going to take a full timeout. Could you imagine when Lucas Levesque sees him and he goes, hey, buddy. I, I have no <laughs> comment for that at all. Ah, uh, Cody, Cody, Cody. You know, I'm a, I'm a little disappointed, Scott. The uh, season's winding down. I'm not. We, we don't have many more of these left, do we? I know, but the good thing is, I, hey, I, I told you I can make the game, both of the games on um, uh, Wednesday. Oh, well, that that's definitely going to be a sharp broadcast then. Yeah, especially since we get to watch the girls play. That's going to be awesome. Yes. Yes. Especially our, our, since they're playing umpy. Yes, yes, and especially since the UMFK ladies are playoff bound. Yes. Playoff bound. Thank I, you, ladies. Way to go. I Play am very bound. excited about this UMFK, uh, UMaine Presque Isle matchup. Yes. It's uh, Arusta County Rivals. Always a good game. Yep, yep. And on the boy side, it, it, it uh, tends to be a little bit more physical than we're seeing in a game like uh, today. Yep. So uh, The ladies lost by three when they played Umpy last time, so I'm really hoping that our girls can... Uh, can uh, turn that around. It's going to be a fun game. Yep, and maintain their playoff hopes. Proud, proud of the ladies. 59-54, Lynchburg trailing. Maybe we ought to play some racquetball Tuesday in prep. I agree. Yep. All Unless right. you're scared of losing. <laughs> Going to have a foul called here on Jorge. I don't know about that. Second foul on Jorge. That's what I thought. Only the team's third of the half. 13 minutes remaining here in regulation. Janaeus at the line, his first shot. He sinks that, 59-55. Second shot on the way for Janaeus. That's front rim, rattles around, no good. Nice Rebounded going, by Jeremy. Jeremy Bishop. All right, Bengals up by four with 13.40 left to go here. Fred Sanchez, he finds Jorge. Nice oh. pass here from Jorge to Fred Sanchez. Inside to Bishop. Bishop yes! up for two. Way to go, Freddie, and way to go, Jeremy. Janaeus now to Dennis Gravely. Inside pass to Lay McFall. Out to Gravely. Gravely drives. He's going to go up off the glass and in for two. Uh, good try, James, but we need to get you in a theater class. The, the Dennis, that was a good try. That was a good try. but The Dennis Gravely, Lay McFall, and uh, Irving Cato trio is incredibly tough. Yep. Uh, Jeremy Bishop off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Dennis Gravely. Janaeus, he drives up off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Nico. A nice rebound, Nico. Way to go. James Givens. Oh! Shot by Fred Sanchez, no good. He's fouled. He'll head to the line for a pair of free throws. I am impressed with James' passing. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. The Timeout. Beautiful Bradley Hollibird is going to wipe up another... Uh, Wet spot, yeah. I, just, just to clarify, are you are you calling him beautiful, or are you calling his actions beautiful? No, people refer to him as beautiful Bradley. Okay, I'm just. So, so if, we, if that's we need, what people do, then I guess it's okay. Yeah, it's like you know. So, so we need we need to to, to whenever beautiful Bradley is out on the court, we need to bring attention. Well, I'm I'm probably not going to call him that, but you can, you can you can do whatever you want, Scotty. Sanchez can't connect on his first free throw. Second one on the way. That's good. 
Gravely inbounds to Janaeus, guarded by James Givens. Janaeus crosses the time stripe, finds Lay McFall. McFall guarded by Fred Sanchez. McFall drives, floater in the lane, no good. Rebounded by J.R. Kwan, and that's good. I don't know, whenever somebody uses the word floater, you know what I'm thinking of. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> we do have like 13 listeners, All right. Scott. This is, a, All right. this is a PG program. Yeah, I know. Just don't use the word floater, Cody. <laughs> Lay McFall Sorry. down on the baseline, kicks out to Dennis Gravely. Gravely inside pass there. Uh, this is Shot like no a good. man. This is like just three ring circus here. Sixty-two fifty-nine UMFK on top. Eleven thirty remaining in the second half. James Givens runs the offense for UMFK. Over to Jorge. Jorge back to Fred Sanchez. Sanchez pass inside, no good. Taken away by Lay McFall. McFall now driving. He oh. finds Adrian Saunders. And Saunders is out of bounds. Possession's going to go back to the Bengals. Yeah, the Bulls are playing today. Doubles. How'd they do in the playoffs last year? Uh, they're, they're, they're just, they're not, it's not happening. I didn't think Chicago even had any sports teams left. Yeah, can't, you can't really call a, a team, a subpar team, a team anymore, can you? White Sox, Cobbs, Bulls. I mean, you guys do have the Blackhawks. That's good. Congratulations on that. Oh, nice. Way to go, Jorge. All right, 10.35 left here, 64.59, Bengals up by five. It is five, right? We're going to have a foul here on uh, Adrian Saunders. Third foul for Adrian Saunders, fifth team foul. Chris Calvin checks in for Lynchburg as Saunders takes a spot on the bench. <laughs> Jorge inbounds to James Givens. Over to Fred Sanchez, inside to Nico. James Givens gonna spot up for three. Oh! Back rim no good, rebounded by Jorge. Go, Jorge. Jorge over to James Givens. Nice oh! pass inside from Givens yes! to Bishop. And Bishop goes off the glass for two. Behave you. Way to go. All right, we're up by uh, seven now. Janaeus for VU Lynchburg. Nice pass inside there. And a big two-handed jam from J.R. Kwan. 66-61, 9.33 remaining, UMFK on top. Givens inside to Nico, kicks back out to Givens, he spots up for three. Oh, yes! James Givens breaking the 20-point barrier. 69-61, nine minutes remaining. Your laptop, right? yeah. Janaeus drives, and we're going to have a traveling violation called here on Janaeus. Givens working the ball up the floor for UMFK per usual. Screen set by Nico. Givens with a little bit of room. He drives, kicks out to Jorge. Jorge spots up for three. Front rim no good. Rebounded by Dennis Gravely. I wanted that one. Janaeus now 
for Virginia University Lynchburg. He drives his right, finds Dennis Gravely. Gravely up fake, pass inside. Chris Calvin. Calvin with a turnaround mm -hmm. shot, no good. Right. Rebounded by Fred Thank Sanchez you, Fred. for UMFK. Sanchez is going to drive, go up off the glass. Oh, and yes! He battles around and in. And the foul. He'll head to the line to complete the and one. Mr. Sanchez, that's the way us New Yorkers do it. Way to go, Freddie. You're not from New York. Why are you? You're from Chicago. Exactly. I was in New York uh, on the 17th. You being in New York makes you a New Yorker about as much as me being in a garage makes me a car. <laughs> no, I'd say you being in a garage makes you a garbage can. <laughs> Chris Calvin now works the baseline. He goes up for a shot. That's no good. Fouled by Fred Sanchez. He's going to head to the line for a pair of free throws. First foul on Fred Sanchez. Hey, we're up by 11. All right, just behave. You. Okay. First shot on the way there from Calvin. Can you quiet down a little bit over there? Cody and I are trying to do this broadcast, all right? It's Second Kate. shot on the way for Chris Calvin, it, it, that's it, good. It's Katie, she does an awesome job with the camera, but sometimes she's a little loud, you know? The poor girl hasn't said a word, all broadcast, leave her alone. Jorge over to Nico, now to Fred Sanchez. Sanchez to Jorge. Jorge drives, he loses the handle, that's picked up by Janine. Way to hustle, Freddy! And a timeout taken here by... Whoa, that was awesome. UMFK. Way to think. Way to pressure. hustle and way to think. Sorry, Cody. we got to stick together with my New York... What? Uh, 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 excuse me. Beautiful Bradley Hollibird <laughs> is out cleansing <laughs> the floor. If I, I, if I ever get a job in the booth for the Knicks someday, remind me not to have you do my color commentary. I, I don't know about you, but I would. I, I in my opinion, the, the Bengals jersey that that he's donning is rather beautiful. It's a beautiful Bengals jersey. No, the he's got the Adidas, the white and black. It's pretty sure it's an Adidas jersey. I think I have one of those. <laughs> you don't have anything better to do today. <laughs> Yeah, I, I have to vacuum and clean, which is why I'm here. Uh, actually, tomorrow I'm having class over at the Honor Center. Having uh, my uh, early college classes meeting for my history musical theater. We're going to watch some musicals. Oklahoma, West Side Story. Pre-Super pre pre -Super Bowl. Oh, I was just gonna say you can't you can't be having class for the Super Bowl. That's no 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 that's no, a no, sin. no no no. I wouldn't want you to miss Peyton getting his uh, second ring tomorrow. So seven forty remaining, seventy two sixty three. UMFK. Givens drives the lane. He goes off the glass. No good. But he's fouled. He'll head to the line again for two. Thank First you, shot James. Good for Way James to go. Gibbons. Bengals have a 10 point lead now. Yeah, it's awesome. Givens, two for two on his free throws, 74 63. A comfortable margin for UMFK. Let's see if they can hang on for the remaining 720. Let's see if they can make that margin a little bigger, I think. And that shot. Being called on who? From Bromel is good. On and Jorge. A foul. About and he's going to get a nope. chance to complete the three point play. On Freddie. The second foul there for Fred Sanchez. 
Seventh team foul for UMFK. Nice rebound by Nico. Free throw no good, rebounded by Nico. James Givens works the ball up the floor. Dribbles to his left. Kicks back out to Jorge. Jorge inside to Nico. Yes! Good pass there from Nico to Jeremy Bishop and he goes off the glass for two. And now J.R. Kwan with a shot, that's no good. Good foul there from Nico preventing uh, Agreed. <laughs> probably a dunk. Agreed. That's Nico's second foul, J.R. Kwan's gonna be at the line. He'll have two shots. And Quan's second shot is good. Two for two from the line. All right, Bengals up by nine. 76-67. Looks like I'm seeing double, huh? It's reflexive. Fred Sanchez for UMFK. He's got the ball. Goes over to Jorge. Jorge inside to Nico. He turns, backs his defender down now. Kicks out to Jeremy Bishop. Bishop's going to spot up for three. Ooh. Front rim no good. Rebound not handled there by Irving Cato, and he loses the ball out of bounds. Possession to UMFK. Fred Sanchez inbounds now to Jorge, and Jorge's going to get called for a travel. One too many steps there from Jorge. Turnover, possession to Lynchburg. 6.30 remaining, UMFK hope, hoping to uh, hold on here. 76-67. Five second violation. Good defense there from Jorge to force that turnover. You know, now that I think about it, Brickman, this yeah. is 76 points is actually probably one of the highest scoring games we've done this year. Yes. And maybe since we've been doing these broadcasts, yep. typically the games don't don't right. uh, We're not up there, but uh Three second violation called on Nico. Another turnover for UMFK and Virginia University is going to get it. Andre Bromel working the ball up the floor, guarded by Jorge. He has turquoise socks on. That's Yes, he does. Shot there from Janaeus, and he puts it in, and the foul. And he's got a chance to make this a close ball game again. 76-69. Foul's going to be on James Givens. That was his third. Team seventh. Shot on the way, and that's good. Six-point advantage now for UMFK. Fred Sanchez inbounds to James Givens. Givens in the backcourt. He works the ball up the floor. Looking to extend his team's already six-point lead. Fred Sanchez drives. He finds Nico inside, and we're going to have a foul. Yep. Freddie's going to go to the line, eh? They don't. Both teams in the bonus now, so it's going to be a one and yep. one here right. for Sanchez. Fred's shot is good. Many times when I see Fred on campus, he is donning a Chicago Bulls hat. He's a very classy young man. Irving Cato, he drives, kicks inside to Jared Kwan, now Janaeus. Janaeus back to Kwan. 
He's going to drive and go up for two. 78-72. Been back and forth all game. Oh. UMFK looking once again to extend their lead. Givens over to Fred Sanchez. Holding foul is going to be called now on Janaeus, and Fred Sanchez is going to go back to the line. Thank you, Freddie. Sanchez goes two for two from the line, 80-72. Right. Dennis Gravely now kicks out to Irving Cato, guarded by Jeremy Bishop. Cato goes inside, shot on the way, no good, but he's fouled. He's going to head to the line. Foul called on Jeremy Bishop. That's his second foul of the game, team's eighth. Every miss may be pretty big, you know? That's very true, especially considering both teams are in the bonus now, so every foul committed is uh, going to result in free throws. And you ask any coach, and they'll tell you that they would rather score po po points on the board without the clock running than they would with it running, so... Loose ball there, picked up by Jorge. He finds Fred Sanchez. Sanchez and drives. Fred's going to the line. And another foul here, and Sanchez is going to head to the line for a pair of free throws. And with both teams being in the bonus with still four minutes remaining, this is uh, shaping up to be a long remaining four minutes and 34 seconds. Yep. It's all right. You, have, you probably don't have anything to do. No. Is it just me, or we have some pretty good free throw shooters? Uh, yes, we do. What, what do our stats say? Did have we missed a free throw yet? You could uh, generally expect the guards like um, Givens and Sanchez to be pretty good free throw shooters. Yeah, They're the ones who shoot the ball the most. But I mean, uh, I'm trying to think of who else had some. Bromel with a shot, that's no good. Irving Cato with a rebound. Oh, way to go, Freddie! And that's taken away by Fred Sanchez. And another foul. And Sanchez is going to head to the line for a pair of free throws. And timeout taken here by Lynchburg head coach Buddy Mason. Hey, buddy. I'm, my mic is still on, Cody. I'm just letting you know. But I'm, I was just thinking, like, during some of the timeouts when we have this dead air, perhaps I should start singing. You know, if you do that, just keep in mind that you can always do the last 411 by yourself. <laughs> you know, do you know how hard it is to do the national anthem and stand next to you when you're humming? through the entire thing. Hey, I'm singing the bass line, pal. Just because you're a music professor doesn't mean you have to it's hum the through the entire national It's the bass line, dude. I'm hearing those inner parts. 
You remember that that question you asked our uh, fundamentals of music class? You showed that you showed the video of that guy just sitting at a piano, not making a single noise. Yeah, John Cage. And you, and you called yeah. it music. Yeah. I hope you're not teaching that anymore. Yes, I am. Because that is not music. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> can't you can't look, s- you can't look, sing a song without be- saying a word. I'm just, but that's okay. Behave, I'm gassy. But <laughs> 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 when, when I when I when I play you in re- yeah, it's a small racquetball room, you know, pal. Before I play you, I'm gonna eat a whole container of hummus. Behave. Second shot good for Fred Sanchez, 84-73. Four <laughs> minutes remaining, second half. All right. We're up by 11. Astounding oh. math skills. That's an actually nice pass. Irving Cato with another basket. All right. 350 remaining. 84-75, UMFK on top, looking to... Close this one out if they can take care of the ball in the remaining 345. <laughs> James Givens over to Fred Sanchez. Sanchez drives. Ah! Tries to kick out to Jorge, but that's taken away by Dennis Gravely. Now Adrian Saunders, he's going to drive and go up off the glass for two. Adrian Saunders. Let's go. 84-77. 320 to play now. Givens, he's going to drive. Pass batted away and taken again by Dennis Gravely. Gravely ahead to Irving Cato. Now to Adrian Saunders. Hey, way to go, Jeremy. He tries going up for two. That's no good. Taken away by James Givens. Thank Givens works the ball at the floor. Givens over to Nico. Now over to Jorge. Jeremy Bishop near the top of the key. Over to James Givens. Givens can't handle it. And that's out of bounds to Lynchburg. Lay McFall. He drives the lane. A runner in the lane. No good. And we're going to have a jump ball call here. And possession is going to stay with Virginia University. Uh Uh-oh. Is that a different color towel that he's using, or is that is that is that the same one that he had? Does it does it make a difference? Yes, it does. For I don't. Those, I don't for think those, for those of us who have a sense of aesthetics. I don't it, think a vanilla colored towel is going to wipe up the water any better than a green colored towel. Ir- Irving Cato, 15 foot jumper is good. UMFK relinquishing a little bit of this lead, 79-84. Bengals still on top, 2:30 remaining. Jorge inside pass to Nicola. Now to James Givens. Givens drives. He goes up. Ah! Oh, no good. Rebounded by Adrian Saunders. Lay McFall now inside to Irving Cato. Cato looks inside for J.R. Kwan. That pass is out of bounds. And Ball is going to stay with UMFK. Two minutes remaining now here in regulation. 84-79. Jorge goes up. Shot no good. Rebounded by Lay McFall. McFall drives. Kicks over to Adrian Saunders. And Saunders is fouled by Nico. Saunders is going to head to the line for a pair of free throws. And he could draw his team to within three. What What are you standing up for? Just, just because? Nothing special. All right. You're allowed. Saunders draws his team to within four. He'll have one more. Shot on the way and back rim. No good. 
Rebounded by Jeremy Bishop. Pass batted out of bounds, and ball is going to go to UMFK. Sanchez inbounds to Jorge. Jorge closely guarded by Leigh McFall. Finds James Givens. Yes, uh... Givens to Bishop, back to Givens. A minute 30 remaining now, 84-80, UMFK on top. Good pass inside there from Givens to Nico. Uh oh, but we got an injury. The pass and Nico's down. Appears to have injured his left knee. And we're going to have a timeout taken by UMFK. <laughs> That's the thing I like about all of my imaginations, Cody. Never a dull moment. One more game, Scott. One more. That one's going to be awesome. Are you going to be wearing some Bengal uh, green and gold to that game? I don't know if I have any green and gold. All right. Jeremy Bishop over to Fred Sanchez. Now back to James Givens. Givens has been a pretty fundamental cog in this UMFK offense all, all season long. And with three seconds left on the shot clock, James Givens gets fouled, and he's going to head to the line for two free throws, looking to extend uh, Bengal lead to six. I tell you, Nico's a warrior. He's, he's hobbling out there, but he's sticking in the game. Thank you, James. What was it you said? Better to score points when the clock isn't moving? That's right. Givens no good on his second attempt, and Lay McFall runs right down the floor. And a wide open lane to the basket, and he scores two. 85-82, three-point advantage, UMFK. And a timeout taken now with 106 to play. i tell you something, we, we still got a lot of ball game left in this one, but I, yes, I, we do. I can't help but look forward to that, that UMFK umpy game. I, Me too. I, I'm, I'm starting to get excited about it. Me too. That's always a, a rivalry game. Yep. And it's very difficult uh, broadcasting them too because you can't well, help but get a little excited. Usually you, usually uh, umpy shows up with a little fan base over here. Yes, um, and that's, that's probably uh, what gets under our fans and players' skin the most. That's all right. Can't expect to have too many uh, Lynchburg fans in the stands today. I don't think they'd want to make the drive up from Virginia. Nope. No Vulcans up here. Nope. Hey, just think if the VUL on their jerseys was backwards instead of Vulcans, it would be love. L-U-V, get it? Yet another great observation. Yeah, that's me. Oh, oh, always thinking. I'm glad I have you here. You're a real benefit to have next to me. What? I said I'm glad you're here. You're a real benefit to have next to me. Yeah. Jorge inbounds to Jeremy Bishop. Full court pressure now coming from VUL. Now we're going to have a timeout taken here by UMFK. The Bengals uh, with the deer in the headlights look there facing the full court pressure. Had trouble getting the ball in and then they had trouble crossing the time stripe.
Timeout concludes 101 remaining in regulation, 85-82, UMFK on top. They're looking to seal the deal here and close this game out. Jorge inbounds to James Givens, UMFK point guard. He's gonna work the ball up the floor, across the time stripe. And it's at the point in the game now where you can probably expect to see Lynchburg start to foul. Fouls, that's what I was saying. Jorge now over to Fred Sanchez. Yes. 10 Keep seconds remaining Fred on the shot clock. And we're gonna have a foul called here on Jeremy Bishop, an illegal screen called. And that's gonna be a bonus foul, so. Mm. Actually, it's they're going to inbound this. Adrian Saunders inbounds to Lay McFall over to Irving, Irving Cato. He spots nope. up for three. Front rim, no good. Yo. Ball taken away there by James Givens. Ahead to Jorge, and there's going to be a foul called on Lay McFall, and James Givens is going to head to the line with 28.9 seconds to go, and he looks to uh, put the last few nails in Lynchburg's coffin here. Come on, Brad, hustle out there. Brad's shoes match the towel, they're green. When he got a new towel, do you think he changed his shoes? Yeah, I would. Makes sense. Givens at the line, the shot is good. Thank you, James, way to go. Givens at the line for his second of two. Yes. And that's good as well. 87, 82. And now 25 seconds remaining. Lay McFall, he runs the ball up the floor. Goes up for two, no good. He's fouled by Jeremy Bishop. Fourth foul for Jeremy Bishop. 24 and a half seconds remaining. 87, 82. UMFK on top. Oh, First right. shot, front rim, no good for McFall. Oh. Lane violation called here on Lynchburg, and ball's going to go to UMFK. An intentional miss on that second shot, looking for a rebound. James Givens now gets the ball in the backcourt. And he's going to be immediately fouled by J.R. Kwan. 19.5 seconds remaining, 87-82. And these two free throws are going to seal the deal here for UMFK if Givens can sink them both. All right, way to go, James. Yes! Givens goes two for two. 89 82. 15 seconds remaining. Irving Cato now. He's going to go up off the glass for two. And a timeout taken by head coach Buddy Mason.
awesome. It would be awesome. All right. Let's go Bengals. Oh, Lord. 14.1 seconds remaining. Jorge Marazan is going to inbound for UMFK. <laughs> he inbounds to Jeremy Givens. That pass batted out of bounds by Leigh McFall. Possession is going to stay with UMFK. 13.3 remaining now. 89-84. UMFK is going to get the big victory here today against yeah, actually they Virginia are. University Lynchburg. And a foul called here on Irving Cato, and I believe that's going to be his it's, final it, foul. Yeah. Cato fouls out, and Fred Sanchez will head to the line for a pair of free throws with nine seconds remaining. UMFK women's and men's teams are hosting uh, Rooster County rival Umaine Presque Isle on Wednesday, February 5th. The women play at 5.30 and the men will play at 7.30. That's going to be both of their uh, final home games of the season together. While the women still have, uh, I believe, uh, one more home season game. That's a 1 p.m. contest against Fisher College. When? Uh, February 8th. Hey, awesome. We're, we're there, dude. And final buzzer sounds. Final score here from UMFK. 90 to 84. The Bengals get a big victory. That's going to do it for us. We hope you'll join us for the next uh, final home games for UMFK men's and women's against UMPI February 5th and then the women's on February 8th.